Hi, welcome to another session on GIMP. Um, when people deal with GIMP, um, there are usually a few limitations that they find very, very hard to swallow. Probably the biggest limitation at this point is printing. Um, yeah, we have Panatone, which is a problem, and CMYK, which is relative to printing. Uh, what we're basically going to do now is we're going to overcome one of the big limitations with GIMP. And uh, that is the printing limitation. This is going to be a two-part video. In the first part of the video, I'm going to give you an, a general overview of um, a product called Guten Print, which is basically, it's hard to find. It's just been released for Windows, and it's truly a phenomenal product. Um, it's also open source, and um, the both the um, program and the manual will be made available on my website, www.fotolink.com. Please visit my site and please uh, become a member of my site. I won't do anything with your email address, but I would appreciate it. So let's get into it. First of all, we have this picture. And normally in GIMP, you can print from a single layer, uh, the active layer, and uh, it just prints to a printer. Sometimes it prints and sometimes it doesn't, depending on the printer of which you have installed. But uh, when you install this pro pro product called Guten Print, um, it installs a new print option called Print with Guten Print. Now, when I click on this, uh, shortly a dialog appears, and uh, this is the uh, print dialog. Now, basically, what I can do here is I can do scaling. I can come up here and click on the picture and drag it to the position on the page which I choose for it to print. I can also specify left, right, top, bottom, um, orientation, which I can have as auto, landscape, portrait, upside down, or whatever. Um, up here, believe it or not, I can also specify what type of paper I'm going to print to. I can specify a um, media source. Okay, I mean, this is auto, manual, or whatever. Um, what I also can do here is specify a resolution for the printed output. Um, what I can also do is come down to here, specify a um, basically a, uh, a page size, a number of copies. Um, I can also center it uh, vertically or horizontally, or if I click on this, it'll center it as both. Now what I can also do is I can come over to here and set what my actual um, measurement unit is going to be. Is it going to be inch, centimeters, points, millimeters, pica, whatever. Output page is going to show you a real neat feature of this program. First of all, I can accept, uh, or you know, I can say uh, print it as color or print it as grayscale. And here, what we have this is a little hard to see. I don't think I can pull it down. But uh, what I can do is um, I can adjust my image brightness with this slider just prior to printing, my contrast on the image, my saturation. There'll be more in the next video, but I can uh, also do a color correction method and I can select a, uh, a dithering method. If I scroll this window up slightly, I have complete control of my linear contrast, okay, of my contrast, now linear resets it, but I can um, adjust any of these items that appear in this window. Now if I come up here in this upper window, what I can also do is I can turn off the various layers. So if I'd like to, like let's say I can just take a look at the black. This is true CMYK, or YK. Black always stands for K. I can take a, take a look at the yellow component. The yellow and magenta together. The yellow and cyan together. Or what I can do is add back in the black. 
Um, what I can do is I can come down here and um, I can correct my composite gamma with this slide bar. I can correct the level of cyan in the image for actually fine um, color correction. Same thing applies to magenta, yellow, black. I can do a cyan balance, a magenta balance, or a yellow balance. What I can do too is I can select like let's say the black curve here and I can edit the curve and uh, you know like let's say if I want to I can give it the standard S or whatever and um, okay I can uh, do whatever I choose to do like here we're going to give a standard S shape slightly and it will um, adjust my image accordingly. So I can edit the curves and so on and so forth. So guess what? We have just overcome a major, major limitation with GIMP. What you're seeing right now is CMYK. In addition to CMYK, you're seeing uh, immense printer control. In the next video, what we're going to go into is installing it and uh, also uh, uh, how it reacts with printers and so on and so forth. Well, I certainly enjoyed doing this video because this was uh, truly a big find when I found it. Um, this uh, Gutenprint is a phenomenal enhancement to GIMP. And um, look out Photoshop. This is one of the big areas where GIMP was lacking. And uh, so let's do another video on this, installing it and so forth. But please go to my site, www.fotolinq. Dot com. Uh, please become a member. I'm working very hard at modifying the site so that we can have a uh, contributing uh, site to GIMP and all the wonderful people that use it. Um, well, I certainly thank you for watching this video and um, have a good evening.